Back in 2018, Fortnite was absolutely booming. Aspiring pros and content creators were taking their chances at becoming the next big thing, including many that played on consoles. And while superstars like Faye Sway and Nick Mertz would eventually switch to PCs, there was one brave soul who stuck with representing the PlayStation community, and he goes by the name of Razor X. Known for his silky smooth builds and relaxing videos set to lo-fi beats, Razer has found remarkable success by showing that top-tier gameplay is still attainable even at 60 frames per second. And although Razer's career would have its ups and downs, there was one thing that remained consistent so far, his absolute devotion to being a part of the console game. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys get inspired by today's video and just know that all things are possible if you believe. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to sit back. Come on, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Everybody, just say it loud. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Growing up in the state of Maryland, Razor X was only nine years old when he began his journey toward becoming a legendary gamer. Every day after school, he and his cousins would get together and throw a little Call of Duty game. Ah, uh, those were the days. But although Call of Duty is quite different from Fortnite, gameplay-wise, all those countless hours of grinding would prove crucial in developing Razor's skills on the sticks. A couple of years later, Razer moved to Virginia and eventually got hooked on Rainbow Six Siege, a game that while similar to Call of Duty in some respects, was different in so many ways. It was just so much more slow paced and tactical, at least compared to the run and gun style of COD. Players had to think ahead, play each round methodically and really think about their actions. All types of gameplay that really appealed to Razer. Finally, in September 2016, Razer opened his YouTube channel, and for about a year until Fortnite came out, he was only uploading Siege videos. Those videos don't exist anymore, but overall, they got him about 1,000 subscribers. Considering he had no help getting there, it was an impressive milestone to say the least. But eventually, when Fortnite did come out, it took the world by storm. As you can imagine, Razer would start playing right away. Well, almost right away. It took some serious convincing by Razer's friends to get him to switch over to the new Battle Royale craze. The thing was, Fortnite's gameplay didn't really grab his attention at first. He was so heavily invested into Rainbow Six Siege that to drop that and to swap over to a brand new game wasn't really his cup of tea. But there was only so much that you could resist Fortnite. Eventually, it pulled you in one way or another, especially if you had your friends nagging at you all day long to play. So about two weeks after release, Razer downloaded Fortnite, signed in, and played his first games. And just like when we all first started playing, it didn't take long for him to get hooked. January of 2018 brought us a new year, and for Razer that also meant new ambitions. With his newly discovered love of Fortnite, he dropped the Rainbow Six Siege videos and set the goal of becoming a Fortnite YouTuber. And on the 13th day of the month, that's when he uploaded his first ever video. Razer would put out between one or two videos per month, typically consisting of him going around and slaying players that by today's standards would be considered worse than AI. And while he was able to get double digit kills and win games with ease, it wouldn't be until a few months later that Razer found his actual calling, Build Battles.
Yes, Razor was a natural at building, it was just something about his playstyle, where he possessed a perfect combination of mechanics, awareness, and patience needed to come out on top in most fights. And because of his spectacular display of building, throughout the rest of 2018, Razor's channel would slowly start to gain traction, building a loyal audience who just loved how he pushed Fortnite on the PS4 to no limits. Now that he was earning a bit of dough from his channel, Razor had a tough decision to make. Should he stick with his PlayStation or make the transition to playing on a PC? Because the thing is, Razer always wanted to play on a PC, but sadly, he was never really in the financial position to buy one. His parents wouldn't even help him out either, so despite his hopes, he made the difficult choice to continue playing and producing content from his PS4, even though it meant he would never be able to show off just how truly skilled he was at the game. But you know what? The decision to stay on PS4 would end up actually helping him more than ever he thought possible. At the start of 2019, Razer's channel had about 20,000 subscribers, a massive increase from his Rainbow Six Siege days. Still, it would be peanuts compared to what was to come. That year in April, Razer uploaded a video titled, apparently, my building is very smooth. And for some reason or another, it became a smash hit. Perhaps it was the YouTube, you know, algorithm blessing on him, or maybe it was just the community coming to an abrupt realization that this Razer guy might just be the best console player out there. Whatever it was, his video unbelievably gained millions of views in what seemed like no time at all. And suddenly, Razer's channel began to explode. His subscriber count quadrupled in just that, like, week alone. And he went from getting about 20,000 views per week to millions. And the best part? He did it all by himself. No YouTuber shoutouts, no hosts from streamers, no help at all. He put in the hours, he bettered himself every single day, and he reaped the rewards. Now that Razer had the attention of the Fortnite community, which even led to already established figures such as Face Swan and Upshaw reacting to his content. Dude. This is one thing he does crazy good as well as just catching guys and just editing through it. Again, man, how does a console player do this? Bro, he's just so fast, man. After blowing up, Razer's subsequent videos would easily average between 1 and 3 million views. And as a result, everyone wanted to be like Razer. Fans began begging for hand cam videos, setting tips and tricks, and anything else that could help them emulate his playstyle. And we remember here at ProGuys, the request for Razer X analysis videos never stopped flooding in. It was as if, like, seeing someone like Razer gave the console community hope. Hope that they could also pull off plays as majestically as he did. Razer had just smashed through his goals as a content creator and was now the most famous console player on the planet. But unfortunately, all that fame would end up becoming a bit problematic. With Razer's videos taking off, allegations of fakery began rolling in. Tons and tons of people commented that Razer did things like speed up his clips or secretly played on a PC, not on a console. Of course, you know, all those are easily verifiable and disproven, but still, more dramatic claims ended up popping up. Haters alleged that Razer was faking his videos in two other ways. First, that he was creating custom games filled with AI opponents to create easy 20 bomb videos. I mean, I can kind of understand why people thought that, especially when you end up seeing enemies like this. But obviously, to any of us that have played against actual bots, that just simply wasn't the case. The players in all his videos were way too sophisticated compared to how Fortnite's AI acted. Plus, Epic patched bot-filled custom games pretty quickly so that it wasn't even a thing for long. But beyond bot-filled lobbies, some were even claiming that most of his build battle and creative clips were fixed in a way so that Razer could easily just get kills for footage. Now Razer didn't disprove it directly, but instead responded back by saying, you realize if I show the full 1v1, then my video will be over 30 minutes long, right? And he's right. Razer's highlight videos are just that, highlights. It's not like he can't, you know, include the whole 1v1 in his video or else it could take up to five minutes before we see a single limb. So of course the kills in his clips are sometimes going to be opponents at low health. Even though the allegations were all false, Razer wasn't too happy about them. I mean, he poured out his heart and soul into creating content and yet still received toxic comments and allegations with zero basis behind them. But regardless, he didn't let those feelings slow him down. 
He stuck with it. He kept pumping out content he knew everyone would love, and he just grew his channel to eventually reach the milestone of 1 million subscribers. To all the console players that aspire to be pros or content creators, listen. Anytime you have doubts about whether you can make it one day, just think back on the journey of Razer X. He started off as just a guy, posting highlight videos from his PS4. He kept working at it, man, seeing improvement every single day to end up crafting a style so fresh and unique that he blew up beyond his wildest dreams. To me, that's just inspiring. And hopefully, Razer has shown that to you as well, that you can accomplish just about anything, even when you only got 60 frames per second. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys will be inspired to keep going, to never give up, to never surrender, to believe that all your dreams are gonna come true if you can just believe. You guys are awesome. Connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And do feel free to drop a like and leave a comment telling us what you like to see next. Also, make sure to subscribe with post notifications so you don't miss out. Peace.